To find the formal charges for each of the elements here in CH3COOH minus the acetate ion, we'll use this Lewis structure here and this equation. I have two representations of the Lewis structure for the acetate ion. This one here where all the valence electrons are shown, and then this is a more structural formula. They both show the same thing. This one might be a little easier to work with as we do formal charges. So formal charge, let's do the hydrogen here first. Hydrogen equals one valence electron, it's in group one on the periodic table, minus unbonded, all of these electrons around the hydrogen, they're involved in a chemical bond, so we have zero unbonded. And then one half of the bonded, that's these two right here. This is the chemical bond between the hydrogen and the carbon. Two, one minus zero minus one, that equals zero. So each of these hydrogens, because they're identical, they all have a formal charge of zero. Next, let's do this first carbon right here. Carbon on the periodic table, group 14. We subtract unbonded electrons. All these electrons around the carbon, they're involved in chemical bonds. And then one half of the bonded, two, four, six, eight. Four minus zero minus four, that equals zero. So the formal charge on this carbon is zero. Let's do the carbon next door to that. Carbon, we said, has four valence electrons. And this one, again, they're all involved in chemical bonds. So we have zero unbonded, and then two, four, six, eight bonded valence electrons. Four minus four, that's zero. So this carbon's zero as well. Next, let's do the oxygen with the double bond. Oxygen, group 16, sometimes called 6A, six valence electrons. Unbonded, two, four. Then we subtract the electrons in the chemical bond here. This is a double bond. We have two, four, divide that by two. That equals zero as well. So we have this formal charge here. And then the last oxygen. Then the last oxygen here, oxygen, six valence electrons, subtracting the unbonded two, four, six of those, minus one half of the bonded, we have two here. So six minus six is zero minus one. We have a negative one charge. So this oxygen has a formal charge of negative one, which isn't surprising because, which isn't surprising because the overall acetate ion has a negative one charge. And in this representation, they put the negative charge on the oxygen with the single bond, which is what we found here with our Lewis structure. Hey, you gotta stop doing that. Yeah. This is Dr. B with the formal charge for each element in the acetate ion, CH3COO minus, and thanks for watching.